Wow, isn't it a great day to be in an American factory? Yes, it is. Let me share something with you. The median income in the United States today is just over $75,000 for an American family. In 1930, it was just over $4,800. In today's real terms, that's almost $90,000. You know what the difference is today from 1930? In 1930, less than 10 percent of American households were dual income. Today, it's almost 60 percent. So when the American middle class looks out and says that they feel like we're working twice as hard for half as much, there's a lot of truth to that. And let me tell you something. I want to tell you why. Because the left has systematically waged war on American manufacturing and the American middle class through overregulation, too many taxes in too many places, and unfair trade deals that have simply put America last. Our ability to produce in this country has become a national security issue. And as a former Green Beret, I will not stop fighting for our country, and I will not stop fighting for American manufacturing. And we all know President Trump is going to fight for American manufacturing because he already did that in his first term. But how do you know that I'm going to do that? Because I'm a manufacturer, too. You know, ever since I was a little kid, I thought it was special to say, I did that, or I built this. There's something special about manufacturing in America. I want to tell you my wife and I's story. When I was in the Special Forces at Fort Bragg, my wife and I started a manufacturing company with $3,000 out of our double-wide trailer in the middle of the woods outside of Fayetteville. And over the last seven years, we have built that into a 120,000-square-foot manufacturing facility with all American manufacturing. We could not be more proud of what we have been able to achieve and more grateful to this country for the ability to achieve it. And we must protect the American dream. And President Trump absolutely believes in protecting the American dream. And the way that we protect the American dream is we protect the American worker. We protect the ability to have upward mobility. And for all of you that don't know, I'm in the firearms industry. Does anybody have a problem with that? Let me tell you something. My wife and I, we were never able to get a bank loan just because we were in firearms. And I think there's something systematically wrong with a country that allows illegal immigrants to walk into our banks and pull a quarter million dollar loan to start a Mexican restaurant, but will not allow a West Point graduate, combat proven Green Beret with excellent credit and the collateral to boot to pull a quarter million dollars to start an American manufacturing company in a constitutionally protected industry for a constitutionally protected right. That has got to change, and President Trump is going to change that. The Harris campaign is weak and dishonest about American manufacturing. Why can I say that? Because just like China has stolen our trade secrets, they've stolen our products, they have stolen our jobs, the Harris Walls campaign has stolen our ideas. Did you know that Kamala Harris now wants to finish the wall? Did you hear that she now actually doesn't really hate guns? She kind of likes them? And did you know that Kamala Harris is now the number one fan in America of fracking? We know not to trust these political talking points because Kamala Harris has said it herself. Her values have not changed. And if her values have not changed, she will sell out the American manufacturing company and the American middle class factory worker just like the Democratic Party has been doing for the last 50 years in America. We are not going to allow that to happen. And I cannot wait to go to Washington, D.C. to stand next to President Trump and fight for American manufacturing and the American middle class to make American manufacturing great again. Thank you very much. It's great to see you all.